How to avoid activating a metabolic pathway that promotes plaque in the arteries. When choline and carnitine are metabolized by the intestinal bacteria, a metabolite called trimethylamine N-oxide TMAO, can be formed. TMAO triggers inflammation. Other researchers has also showed that TMAO induces inflammation and endothelial dysfunction. The endothelium is the inner lining of the blood vessels, and endothelial dysfunction creates cardiovascular disease. An elevated TMAO level predicted an increased risk of major adverse cardiovascular events after adjustment for traditional risk factors. The researchers based their conclusion on data collected during three years of follow-up in 4,007 patients undergoing elective coronary angiography. They also had healthy people ingesting two hard-boiled eggs before and after the suppression of the intestinal microbiota with oral broad-spectrum antibiotics to see if the bacterial flora made a difference in the detected TMAO level. The researchers found that levels of TMAO were markedly suppressed after the administration of antibiotics and then reappeared after withdrawal of the antibiotics. This means that the bacterial flora has a lot to do with how much TMAO we are going to produce. In humans, dietary L-carnitine is converted into the atherosclerosis and thrombosis, promoting metabolite TMAO by gut bacteria. The researchers discovered that TMAO is induced by omnivorous dietary patterns and chronic L-carnitine exposure because the TMAO was markedly lower in vegans and vegetarians. If you eat a plant-based diet and avoid animal-based protein like dairy, eggs, and red meat, your gut bacterial flora will be different and you will not produce TMAO.